guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Brianna and today I'm going to be reviewing my little sample that I got of Wasabi Shan Kui uh, shampoo I got this in an online order I did with Lush Australia about oh I think about a month or so ago um, I was a little bit surprised to get a shampoo sample because usually the samples they send are body lotions uh, they have sent soap samples in the past as well but at the moment, they seem to be sending dream cream and sleepy uh, body lotions as uh, samples. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to review this for you. Um, I tried it out last night. So this is my hair right now, um, if you want to have a look at it. Uh, so it's very, very clean. It feels very soft as well. Now, I have very thick hair. I don't know if you guys can see... Um, Look, it's, it's not the thickest hair, uh, but I do have quite thick hair. Um, and this is actually designed for fine hair. It's designed for giving volume to the hair and helping stimulate the scalp for hair growth. Uh, the main ingredients in this are SLS, wasabi deconcoction, Epsom salt, sea salt, fresh horseradish, aquafaba, which is chickpea liquid, uh, organic agave syrup, and fresh lemon juice. They do have... Um, scenting products in there like essential oils and things like that as well like rose essential oils so if you are sensitive to essential oils obviously um just double check the ingredients list uh, before you purchase and maybe get a sample in store or something like that if you are sensitive to essential oils on your scalp now my experience with this i got just enough in this to do my head of hair i use a lot of product when i wash my hair or um, condition my hair so it was enough for one uh, use for my head and now the smell is actually really nice um, it does have some menthol crystals in there so there's obviously sort of like a pepperminty type uh, smell and feel to it like it's very mentholy on the head um, it, it doesn't burn the scalp or anything like that I don't really have a super sensitive scalp so I can't speak on behalf of someone who may have a sensitive scalp uh, but I didn't feel any sort of burning it was quite tingly um, I usually leave my shampoos on for about five or so minutes after I've lathered it um, just to sort of let the ingredients sort of settle um, and towards the end of the five minutes I was really noticing a lot of tingling um, so I thought it would be best to uh, rinse it off at that point uh, the smell of the product is if you've ever bought um, like lemon lime uh, gum or mints uh, we have a variety of lemon lime mints in Australia called Eclipse I don't know if you guys have them internationally uh, but they're chewy mints um, they're lemon lime they have sugar in them so they're not a sugar-free gum um, and they have like a minty flavor to them as well and the smell instantly remind me of them so if you've ever bought a product like that to eat um, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's very lemony, very, it's sort of like lime kind of smell as well. And yeah, got that sort of minty smell as well. So I was actually really impressed because I didn't think it would smell that good. <laughs> um, and obviously the organic agave syrup gives it the sweetness. There was definitely a sweetness in there as well. Um, it was a very sort of um, deep green color, um, obviously from the wasabi deconcoction and the, um, the fresh horseradish and all that sort of thing uh, reacting in there uh, gave it that green color um, yeah and it also had very noticeable chunks of sea salt which is hand harvested sea salt um, and there was Epsom salt in there as well obviously so there were big chunks of salt um, so when you rubbed it in your scalp the salt sort of um, was sort of like a nice micro dermabrasion type of um, thing going on in there <laughs> Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed lathering it up because I could feel the salt underneath my hands. It actually, um, it actually made my hands really soft. So it's like a two in one. It's like a hand scrub as well. It was, um, I felt when I got out of the shower, I was like, wow, my hands are really soft. So yeah, I really enjoyed this product. Um, like I said, I only got a sample and I don't have fine hair, so I can't, um, confirm, uh, or deny the claims made in regards to fine hair but what I can say is I love it and I would definitely buy a full bottle this is a five out of five product for me I'm actually thinking of just buying a big bottle um, now so 
Lush often give samples and I feel like samples are an integral part of their business because I buy a lot of stuff based on the samples they give me as well. Um, and I was thinking of buying a 100ml bottle of this for quite a few months now and I just never got around to doing it. So the sample definitely helped me. Um, for my hair type and what I use, how I use my hair products, it was perfect for me. Um, and yeah, I my my scalp feels fantastic. By the way, I haven't actually conditioned my hair. I deliberately didn't condition my hair as well because I wanted to see what the smell was like. Um, the smell stayed on for a little while after um, the shower and everything, but this is the next morning. I shower at night um, and there's definitely like no noticeable smell, but it feels very soft even though I haven't even conditioned my hair. So definite five out of five for me. I will be purchasing a big bottle next time I do a big order. Um, yeah, love it. Fantastic product. And thank you, Lush, for coming up with such a great um, little invention there. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it wasn't too long. I do try and add as much information as I can into my reviews to help your purchasing decisions. Uh, but if you do like this sort of um, video and these sorts of reviews, please stick around. I've got loads more coming. I also have a Lush Reviews playlist on my channel. If you go to my playlist um, tab, you will find um, the Lush Reviews playlist there. And until next time, take care. Bye, guys.